welcome back to the Mum's Eye View channel. I'm Kate from Dolly Bobo and today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve summer wavy hair two different ways. The first is more of a beachy mermaid waves look and the second is this one which I call my sort of more glamorous party waves kind of style. So I really hope you enjoy it. Let's get straight into the video. So first of all I want to show you how I achieve my beachy mermaid waves. This is one of the easiest styles to create and personally I think it's great for busy mums on the go because you literally do this hairstyle in your sleep. So first of all wash your hair as you normally would, blow dry it as you normally would, then when your hair is sort of sort of three quarters of the way dry, it's still slightly damp, um, I apply the Andrew Barton SOS Help Me Repairing Leave-In Conditioner Spray. I just find this makes it really silky and smooth in the morning and it just feels lovely so I just spritz this into my hair and brush it through. Then I split my hair into two sections as you can see here and I sleep with two plaits in all night and I usually do this every time I wash my hair because if I need to be somewhere in a rush and I don't have time to do my waves properly how I really like to do them then this is a great alternative. So literally all you do is you wake up you do what you've got to do and when you want to style your hair all you do is undo your plaits. I've actually slept in these all night, that's why I look like this right now. It creates these gorgeous soft waves so once you take those out you can just have a little bit of a play around with them. I just brush them through because I don't want them to be too unison so I just make them even softer by just brushing them through. As you can see it does go quite frizzy on me so I really like to use the Andrew Barton Miracle Frizz Tamer. This is a super gloss serum and you literally just pump a couple of squirts into your hand. That's about three but I do have big long hair and then just run it through the ends. It smells amazing, it's got Moroccan argan oil in it so it's really nourishing to your hair and it just really sorts out the frizz. And this is the other way I create summery beachy waves. So this takes a little bit more time. I usually do this when I wanna go on a date night or um, it's a special occasion, um, but I love the way this turns out. So again, all I do is I sort of part my hair. It's kind of in the middle, but it's sort of a little bit more to this side. Um, so just part my hair and brush it through. My hair is a little bit wavy anyway when it's dry, when it's dried naturally. And for this way I'm going to be using heat, so I really want to make sure I use a heat protection spray. So this is the Andrew Barton Hair Heroes 220 Celsius Heat Protection Spray and this has Moroccan Argan Oil and Vitamin E in it. So again, it's really good for your hair and I usually do use my straighteners or curlers, whatever tools I'm using on the highest heat setting. So this has really good heat protection. So literally I just give it a shake and spray it through my hair. Because you don't want frizzy frazzled hair. Next I just section off my hair. So first of all the side that I'm not working on I usually just tie up with a band just so I don't include it in any of this section. And then I start working on this side. Now everyone does this differently, but I tend to take this back section here and then pin the other half up. It's quite hard to do it in proper sections when you're doing it yourself, isn't it? So I always find this easiest. Then I take my favorite curling wand ever. This has been in my life for so long and I love it. This is the Babyless Curling Wand Pro. Um, absolutely fantastic. Now, we don't want tight ringlets, so we're not going to keep this in for an extreme amount of time, but obviously we want the curls to stay. I'll show you how to make it look more wavy and less curly at the end. So all you need to do is just start taking sections. So you're going to take your curling wand and curl away from your head. It looks trickier right now because I'm doing this in the lens of a camera. <laughs> obviously you can do this in a mirror. Just make sure the curls are going away from your face rather than towards your face. Once you've left it in for about five to 10 seconds, just hold it in your hand just to let it cool down. If you let it drop straight away, it drops out a lot faster. So just let it cool down in your hand and then release. It looks pretty curly right now, but we'll sort that out after. And then just continue to do the rest. So 
but I'll just quickly talk you through how I section this off. I usually do three sections per side, so once I've got this bit down, I'll just run my finger across here, take this part and pin that up. And I usually find three sections is enough to get quite a lot of volume. side looks like all finished. Um, I'm not going to brush it out for a minute because I want it to completely cool down before I do. I'm just going to show you how I curl this side once so you can see the way it curls outwards and then I'm just going to do that whole side and come back once it's all done. So I just literally grab this outside section and taking the wand I kind of put it behind my head and curl it outwards. It looks really confusing, but really it's so easy once you get the hang of it. Hold it in your hand for a sec. Let it cool down. And voila. So I'm just gonna do the rest and I'll be right back. So all the sections of my hair are now curled, but I want to make them more wavy, more natural, more free. These are a bit too curly and defined for me at the moment. So, I'm just simply going to start brushing them out, and I love the look this creates. This is what I always do now, I never leave them in their little ringlets. So you can see already that's just created really pretty sort of glamorous soft waves and they all flick outwards. Again, however I curl my hair, I like to put in a little bit of a defrizz serum. So again, I'm going to take the Andrew Barton Miracle Frizz Tamer and just put that through the ends. Again, just a couple of little pumps of that. And of course, to finish it off, because I want my curls to last all night, all evening, all day long, um, I just use the L'Oreal Elnet Hairspray. This is my favourite. Again, I've used this for years. And I just spray this all over. I'll quickly show you what it looks like from the back. So there you have it, two really pretty and pretty simple summer wave styles. I really love both of these, they're my go-to hairstyles all of the time really. I hope you enjoyed this video, all of the products that I used including the hair tools and all of the products are linked in the box below if you want to check any of those out. I'd love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the Mum's Eye View channel for lots more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching everyone, see you later, bye!